Hello, and welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to be starting off right ahead and uh, trying to work finally on the Los Pocos gang, as you can tell by the buckle. And with that, we finally need some people to help us out with it. We are not going to be able to run this alone. So I figured I'd talk to Mr. Schwab. Uh, he's also, we have hired him on as an apprentice gunsmith. Uh, a couple days ago, he's been doing real well so far, but uh, we're going to talk to him. So we'll look Gonzalo, two of the only people that we trust very well, and see see what they think about it. Um, I do think they have a buckle of their own, but I want to see what they're going with that. But uh, we're going to wait for Gonzalo. I think he's changing or something right now. We're going to see if we can have a talk up both of them, see if they'd like to hopefully help us uh, restore the Los Pocos, and uh, we'll see how that goes in just a second or two. We're going to have a little meeting with Mr. Schwab and Gonzalo. And here we are. This is uh, Gonzalo's house and uh, the distillery over there. Going to be having a talk with them. Hopefully this talk goes well. I guess we'll be seeing. Well, Seville, you haven't met him yet, but it's Tom, Tom, Seville. Why are you pleased with you? Tom is a close associate of uh, me and Schwab. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you, yeah. Always my Right. So, uh, before I start, no offense, uh, Fela, I don't know you too well. Uh, Gonzalo, y'all y'all trust this, Fela? Oh, yeah, we trust uh, Tom with our life, see? Okay, okay, well, that's good enough for me. Uh, well, I guess you've noticed, obviously, I have a buck similar to Rico's, and, uh, I guess you know what that entails at the moment. Now, from everyone, you know, obviously I'm the one last, last one left uh, with this buckle. And I plan to continue uh, the legacy, hopefully, of Rico. And, of course, the buckle as well. And there ain't no way I can do it alone. I've already had quite a couple meetings. And there's no way I can take on the, you know, what I need to take on alone. So, uh, I want to talk to y'all. And, uh, obviously, you two are two of the most trusted people I know. At least personally. I want to have a little sit down and, uh, see if, you know, becoming part of this and helping rebuild it with me would be something you're interested in. Uh... The only problem I currently see is I don't know your motives, Seville. Are you doing this for your personal gain or are you doing this for Mexico? Because uh, the way I see it, I would only do it for Mexico and not for my personal gain. But it's fair enough, that's fair enough. Um, well, it, to be honest, it's going to be a bad mix of two. Um, obviously, well, Mexico prospers and grows. So, you know, if we make a little money on top of that, make a little bit for our sales. I don't see nothing wrong with that, as long as we're also helping Mexico out at the same time. Mm hmm Because, uh, you might have uh, noticed we also have our little uh, own uh, group uh, project going, going on. Bye, sir. With Senor Tom over here and Senor Felix uh, back at Casa. I mean, I should Sorry. have invited him, but uh, he didn't want to impose. No, okay. Sorry, okay. Uh, Senor Tom has been our boots on the ground in our Commonwealth. All right, all right. See, we have uh, found some uh, interesting uh, things so far. No okay, no okay. yeah, At the end of the day, I think we all want the same thing. Uh, it's just a matter of lining up the, the needle and, and all going in the same direction. That's that's the thing. Um, See. By protecting, by 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 helping Mexico, Gonzalo. I'm assuming you are you are thinking on. Uh, not doing crime over here uh, and and providing whatever stuff we can to help but at well, the end of the day at the end of the day this will always be a, a in a way a profit thing for us like like if, see, there, if there's, there's money involved so. and, and we want to make money out of this otherwise it's not a charity uh, reunion that's what i'm saying no 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 most certainly not no the end goal is to make uh, lots of dinero for mexico and then lots of dinero for our own pockets so I think uh, we can all agree to that. It's just a uh, means to the method how we're going to do this. And I Sorry. spoke with the other guys here. And of course, uh, it kind of comes as a package deal, I guess. If that would be a... Uh, would be a thing. No, I, yes, 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 of course, of course. Again, if you, if you trust the... What was it, Tom, sir? Tom, yeah. Yeah, I Tom. see. I oh, trust yeah. Tom in my life, see. Well, that's good Sorry, enough for me. Again, uh... You and uh, Schwab are probably one of the only two people I trust in my life at the moment. So if he's good for you, then, uh, you know, he's good for me. So let's get the, down to the brass tacks. Is like, how would you want to would you want to move forward with the Los Pocos uh, with the same belt buckle? 
Well, I, I, I want to run it a little bit differently. Rico obviously was uh, quite the rambunctious man. I'm planning on uh, running it a little bit uh, more under the table, a little more quiet. Don't plan like on uh, robbing any folks, shooting up any folk anytime soon. I want to keep that to the minimum. And if so, hopefully have it done by someone else, um, if possible. I do have already a couple of talks with the poor genies and uh, quite a couple of business things involved with that. Oh, yeah, to be honest, I just want to just run it a little differently. want to run a little bit smoother. A little bit more like a business, if that makes sense. So, yeah, no, I in think, the end, it's uh, all business, right? Like, so, yeah, I think we agree. I don't think we are uh, we are looking to rob people or uh, anything like that. I think, uh, let's say, it, we're more interested in the uh, in the substance business. Okay. Uh, well, I have connections for about everything at the moment. Say, so, yeah, we know how to make everything. We know where to get everything. <laughs> okay, well, I see we're, we're all very knowledgeable. Let, let's just say we reached out to our former friends, uh, the Ruthless. Uh, I've had talks with Alfred as well on Guarma. Uh, the only ones I didn't reach out to is the Porcinis because they're far east and I, quite frankly, do not fucking care for them. <clears throat> no offense, amigo. They've been very courteous to us and even when they hosted us in the, in the mansion, they've been very friendly. But the only problem I see is that uh, I feel that they're more invested into getting something out of Mexico rather than helping Mexico. And the ruthless and hatred have uh, always uh, been uh, more of our close amigos. And that being said, uh, after recent talks with the Solomons, uh, I'm starting to like, uh, I'm starting to warm up to these guys as well. Okay. Which okay. is uh, pretty much a 180 when it comes to my stance. All right. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I have had quite a couple of talks to poor genies. Um, and they have quite a little bit of business um, that we could be able to help them out with. Uh, since, of course, they are, as you said, out in the east. Um, I'm talking to them in work so that we could probably help uh, in the west. Well, I have, I have a question for you, Sephil. Um, Wait, it's good. a question, okay? It's not, there's no second intentions, but I, 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 it came to my mind that by, by having this agreement or this connection to the, the poor genies, don't you think that they will take us as like uh, another, just another bunch of people they actually run? Are we not giving them more power by just uh, doing whatever kind of, you know, letting them kind of run the show and stuff? Because no. um, my, my idea here would be that we are independent and that uh if we have common interests that we can both um you know take advantage like you suggested that's fine but i'm afraid that because of the the time and experience they've spent already on this and and the way they are structured in the commonwealth compared to us um we would soon be just uh another another tool they use you know what i mean well oh, yeah, i feel like uh, now i have had a uh, quite a couple connections like no oh, wait no problem uh, I've had a couple, quite a couple connections to uh, Carlo, both personal and business. Um, I ain't too worried about that. Either way, you know, they don't have too much control over here in the West. And as much as I said I want to help them expand, really, that's that's more for us. Um, if, if we keep them under the guise of we're helping them uh, as much as we can, then, you know, obviously they're going to be a little blind to anything else that we do. Right. That's a better way to, to look at it. Nice. No. Another thing is, uh, how attached are you to this uh, uh, old gang that, that Rico used to run? I mean, in terms of uh, being the name and the organization and the buckle itself and, and, and wanting to, to continue with that onwards. Is that something you want to consider uh, creating our own group, a new thing that nobody knows and, and that we can uh, set our own uh, reputation for? Or, or you, you want to, what's the advantage of, of actually picking up on something that died um, and... And keep going well to be honest the main thing is uh you know uh, rico i wouldn't be here without rico so I, I feel a certain responsibility to myself to carry on his legacy in a sort of way uh, it may seem dumb it may not be the most strategic decision but I, I feel like i need to carry it on and carry on the legacy of uh of rico and the game all right I see definitely not? the advantages of uh, starting a new one, changing the name, this or that. Um, and I see the disadvantages, obviously, of keeping the Los Pocos name and the belt. But uh, I do feel like it's a responsibility of mine to uh, to carry on that legacy. Yeah, I feel somewhat the same. Uh, under that belt buckle, I blew up a general store. I robbed a gunsmith. Uh, 
I mean, I'm considered the fucking domestic terrorist at the moment. <laughs> I need to actually lay low uh, from Americas. <sighs> it's not the uh, yeah, the bad buckle. I will have to talk to the amigos about it. Uh, Okay, to be okay. honest, your plans pretty much align with our own. Maybe we seek different uh, means to an end, but I think that uh, that can be worked on. Uh, I think the most important one is that uh, both you and me, Seville, are members of the council, and if you read the fucking contract properly, then uh, you should know that we could hang for any crimes committed in Mexico, right? Based some very well you fight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna be sure, nice. Uh, again, as I said, I want to run this more like a business. I don't need want to be the ones hitting stores, robbing banks. I want to have people do that for us. Yeah, we got a nice group of rabbit dogs here in uh, New Mexico. I mean, Mexico, running around now. They have gold armor and they're as dumb as a brick, but they are very good shots and they uh, seem to have the upper hand at the moment. Yeah, the misfits, misfits, or whatever they're fucking called. Nice, nice. I had a couple conversations with Liam. To be honest, I was looking at this much more like a, a drug-based business than, than, than robbing uh, stores and calling the attention of the law through that. Oh, That's no. Uh, exactly. Sorry, That's sorry. They was, uh, they was supposed to just be an example. As in, uh, we, we don't want to do any of the small things. We don't want to be wasting our time, risking our lives over something small. That's what I'm saying. So, hey, if we're going to make a payday, it's going to be a fucking cocaine or a, or a moonshine distillery and that's gonna get us lots of cash we just need uh, morons to run it exactly let's try and come to a, a little bit of a conclusion as to uh where we want to go forward i guess obviously there's still a lot to talk about but but what was y'all thoughts on uh, kind of everything just trying to look at uh overview hmm i personally would say i'd be in but uh, i think we need to reach consensus between the four of us uh because uh, we we will be giving up our name and uh well, well the belt buckle is shit anyways but the name is pretty uh pretty well thought of Same. again i'm not well, trying to force y'all into anything if this is not something that you're you know want to be part of um you know obviously i can go on my own and figure it out that way uh no bad blood either way but well, I, I would is, love to have y'all it's the same anywhere right uh, if we can uh, try to uh to, to tell to each other now that we'll be coexisting, but uh, in the reality is always different, you know. I think right. that's uh, like the main issue. Like uh, right now, we're all we're all amigos, and we'll keep being that way. But at some point, we're gonna step on each other's toes if toes if we both do the opposite thing, you know. I mean, just yeah. look at the landscape, the geopolitical landscape. Like you deals with the Porcini's, I fucking hate the Italians, and then the, I like to keep uh, maintaining the Mexican ties with the ruthless. And I do like Alfred in Guarma, so eventually you get like blocks of uh, power, and that never works out well. So it would be better if uh, we combine forces, I guess. But well, like I uh, said, I think we need to already reach a consensus for first before we say uh, or agree to anything. Well, of course. Well, I mean, honestly, uh, Gonzalo, you having different contacts than me, I think is a, a good thing, not a bad thing, in my opinion. Having us have different relations in different areas allows us to be a lot more uh, fluid and moving around, if that makes sense. Um, or yeah. if we need a certain thing from a certain person, then you might know him and I might not, or vice versa. Correct. So he's very good. My brain. I end up like, sorry i don't want to like hold my hatred i mean these italians might be good right i've only been to their house once they were very courteous they employ miss tilly which uh, i fucking adore so it is something that i could put to the aside but i need to have more talks with him uh, with them before i uh before i fully convinced right it's uh i'm uh I'm like a, what's it called? A heart on the outside, soft on the inside. Uh, once you are uh, reach the core, uh, you actually get into the soft side and uh, I start liking you. Oh, well, let me put it this way. Um, I, I might have uh, not clarified uh, completely. I didn't mean of running like a different portion of the poor genies down here. I, I was just talking about doing business with them. Well, as long as they understand that. Wait, sis. See, so you mean like a symbiotic relationship? Oh, indeed. Okay, let's uh, let's talk particulars. Uh, Seville, for the cocaine, we need uh, to do a machine heist, and I know that the Porginis have uh, recently uh, done one. Yep. Would you be able to get more information on that? Of course. 
because it's uh, close to colder me and uh, felix actually wanted to check it out yesterday but seeing as we hadn't spoken to you yet we kind of saw away from that uh, thing okay okay because we want to know if uh, like if law gets involved when doing that yeah i can get some info for you for sure um they'd already said they'd be willing to share and help when i've talked to them about so where do we want to end this meeting off then because again as you see we are just kind of going in circles here I well, think... I would say a temporary yes. No okay. Say. Depending on what Felix, uh, how Felix feels about this. I agree. I think, uh, I think we first need to create something and and, and show and, and actually get the grasp of things because at the moment we don't really know the ins and outs of the, of the businesses we're trying to create, and and that's that's always going to be the first step. Even if afterwards we decide that we don't want to do it together, we we need we need this information. We can work together to get this information. Uh, and from there, uh, work it. I mean, uh, I'm sure we can find a common ground. It's, it's not, it's not going to be hard. We all, none of us wants to do crimes in Mexico and, and, and get arrested or anything. We all agree that we should maintain a low profile. We're not going to do dumb shit like going into a, a new Austin or whatever and start robbing people or whatever. Not so cool. that's not, that's not the, the deal here. So, uh, but first of all, we need to establish ourselves as, as, as what we want to be. And, uh, and, and get this information. Yeah, get credibility, get this information, get things going, and probably have something else to offer them as well. Yeah. So, but the common ground is we all want to create a, a group that uh, that creates money, that it protects uh, itself in Mexico, and that uh, helps Mexico in any way they can. And and uh, we want to grow as a as a group. So this is a common ground. I'm sure we can find some. All right. Well, I guess uh, then we'll wait till uh, y'all got Felix, talk to him and everything, and then we have a final talk. Is that what good. it sounds like? All right. Yep. Say, so, sounds good to me. I think uh, that concludes it then. Perfect. Well, uh, pleasure talking, as always. Yep. Appreciate y'all having a word. It's good, amigo. It's good. Anyways, we'll go talk to Felix. Okay. Say. So, I will. It was a good talk, I think. I don't know why the fucking horses are interested. <laughs> All right, there we go. Well, it was definitely a good talk. Um, it looks like, yeah, we're all going to be combining forces very soon and hopefully going to be able to, you know, work on the Los Pocos a little bit more. <sighs> but definitely a good talk overall. I think now, though, we're just going to head back to Chupa. Probably work a little bit more on the gunsmith. Might send over a telegram to uh, Mr. Carlos. See if we can have another talk with him soon. And uh, it sounds like they're just going to talk with Felix. Hopefully figure it all out and uh, hopefully we're going to be growing the Los Pocos a little bit more. Either way, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, so I actually think that's going to be about it for this episode. Unfortunately, I ran into uh, quite a couple issues technically today, so I wasn't able to get as much recorded as I wanted. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the meeting with Gonzalo Schwab as well as a new fellow named Tom. And uh, hopefully are excited for us finally rebuilding the Los Pocos a little bit more. Uh, we're going to have probably another talk with them in the future, kind of finalize everything, see where they want to go, see where we're at. Uh, but either way, I think that's going to be about it for today's episode. So if you guys did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.